How are you learning to better manage your time and commitments? You know, it, it's something you never feel you have enough of. Mm. So you're, you're, you're always like, you know, chasing a dragon, you know, always trying to find a way to squeeze um, more time. Um, as a reflection of that, as it pertains to commitments, since commitments must fit into some sort of time, time range, I make fewer commitments now. Um, I think years ago or, or, you know, a couple years ago, I was everywhere. Yeah. So I was trying to do a lot. And, and so in, in this urgency to sort of meet as many people as possible, mm -hmm. I was just running around, just doing a ton of stuff. Um, now what I've tried to do is sort of streamline that. So I'm always interested in meeting new people. Like that's, that's huge. Right. But I try to maximize my commitments in order to use my time most effectively. Mm -hmm. So I found, for example, years ago, I was doing a lot more stuff at night. Um, and, and night things tend to last forever because people don't have the same like time restrictions. So I was like, hey, let's meet after work or when you get off and let's grab a drink or something. And that could last three hours. Right. You know, now in interest of, of time, I'll meet people for like tea or something or, you know, something that has a far more definitive restriction of time mm -hmm. where I know I'm only going to be with them for 30 to 45 minutes. Right. Um, so that way I'm effectively kind of building on the relationship. And I'll do that more frequently, mm -hmm. but it works out works out better in the long haul. I'm not spending kind of the three hours at night going through several whiskeys, you know, it's more <laughs> right. like one to 145 and having a cup of tea and having a conversation and it's kind of moving on. And yeah. I could do like five of those, mm -hmm. you know, in, in an afternoon as, as opposed to kind of doing one big thing mm -hmm. at, at night. 